The former president of the Otago province of Federated Farmers is a new face at the DCC, bringing a rural perspective to the council table. Mike Lord is part of Mayor Dave Cull's Greater Dunedin grouping and won his place thanks to voters in the Mosgiel Tyree Ward. He joins us tonight for the penultimate interview in our series of chats with the seven new councillors. Good evening, Mike. How are you? And congratulations. Thank you. First up, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, I'm uh, 48 years old. I'm a farmer out in the Tyree. I was born and raised in Umro and I've been here for the last 25 years. What made you decide to run for council? Um, well, the last few years I've put a shear milker on the farm, so I've had a wee bit more time. And I've been through the Federated Farmers job, grown interested in local body politics. And so I basically, uh, when people talk to me about it, decided, yeah, I'd like to have a crack at that and try and make a difference for good. Now you've also said that you believe that Dunedin is heading in the right direction. Why do you say that? Well, I think since we've uh, had the new Chief Executive, Paul Orders, who's now the uh, outgoing chief executive, but he has made a lot of difference and he's made a lot of change and there's been a lot of areas where he's uh, picked up things in the budget and he's saved money in lots of different areas and I think that's we really are heading in the right direction. Are there any particular projects or policies that you'd like to see given a push? Oh, there's nothing really um, as an individual policy that I'm mad about, but there is, uh, I think the one thing that we've been tainted as a city that's not a particularly business friendly city. Now I don't know that that's absolutely true but I want to actually make sure that we are seen as the opposite of that, a business friendly city. So that would be something I'd like to work with and work on. How do you think you might go about that? Well I think um, the Resource Management Act is something for, particularly for farmers that's been really, really difficult to get things done easily and simply. Um, there was evidence a few years ago when the DCC's own forestry company went down to the Clutha district to build a mill because they couldn't get it in through in uh, the Dunedin district and I just think that's a real shame and so it's working through looking at the plan and looking at how we apply the plan if there's anything that we're doing wrong. Why can they do it in another district but not in our district? Mm. Yeah. What are the specific issues in your ward? Well I guess the, the biggest issue we've got and it's in all wards is the debt. Uh, 623 million is going to take a lot of pain back. But if we look out in the Mosgiel Tory, look, there's a lot of people that are unhappy about a lot of things. They're unhappy about parking, they're unhappy about uh, traffic flows, they're unhappy about the fact that we haven't got a good pool. Um, and all of those things will be work in progress as far as I'm concerned. I mean, the, the council have already signified the need of a new pool. Uh, unfortunately, signifying the need, we actually have to go a whole lot further if we're going to actually raise the funds and, and get that pool in the near future. Now you've calculated in 2009 that you pay almost $1,000 a year in stadium rates for your almost $5 million farm. Is that something that you'd like to see change? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think as an individual paying that sort of money when the average was supposed to be $66, that was what they sold it on, uh, I, think, I think that is an obtuse figure for one individual to pay. And there's people that pay significantly more than I do, so yeah, it is something I'd love to see change. Now tell us, what's involved in being a Greater Dunedin councillor? How does that work on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, well, it's very early days at the moment, and of course I'm only just uh, not even sworn in yet. Uh, what I would say, though, is I'm not a Greater Dunedin councillor. I'm a Greater Dunedin, I, I ran as a Greater Dunedin council, uh, candidate, but I'm actually a Dunedin city councillor, and so my work is for the people of Dunedin, not for Greater Dunedin or for myself. It's representing all the people, um, and that's what I hope to do. But I do realise that uh, I'm going to be very busy in the next few months. Mm. Yeah. Councillor-elect Mike Lord, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.